Tomorrow, a federal judge in D.C. could hand down the harshest sentence so far in the hundreds of January 6 criminal cases brought forth by the DOJ. This one for former Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio. Chief Legal Correspondent Katie Barlow standing by in the newsroom with more on what we can expect tomorrow. Well, while former President Donald Trump continues to rail against DOJ for his January 6th criminal case, the department continues to pound the pavement with insurrection-related prosecutions and arrests. Tomorrow, prosecutors will ask for 33 years behind bars for former Proud Boys leader Enrique Tarrio. D.C. federal judge Timothy Kelly was originally scheduled to sentence Tarrio last week, but it was unexpectedly postponed. DOJ originally called it an emergency, but the court later said there was no emergency and that Judge Kelly was just out sick. Tario is the 39-year-old former national chairman of the far right ring group, the Proud Boys, along with three other men were convicted in May. A D.C. jury found them guilty of seditious conspiracy for their actions leading up to and during the attack on the Capitol. Responding to a tweet from Trump, Tario organized a group of Proud Boys calling themselves the Ministry of Self-Defense to be on the ground in Washington on that day. He also set a stolen Black Lives Matter banner on fire during a round in D.C. in December 2020. Tario is now facing possibly the longest sentence so far in the nearly 600 cases where federal defendants have gotten sentences. Take a look. The longest sentence handed down in any January 6th case so far is 18 years. Tario's co-defendant and fellow Proud Boy Ethan Nordine was sentenced to 18 years on Friday. Prosecutors wanted 27 years in Nordine's case. Of Tario's two other co-defendants, Proud Boy's Lieutenant Joseph Briggs got 17 years on Thursday after press Prosecutors had requested 33, and Zach Rail got 15 years. Tario was also found guilty of conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, the certification of the Electoral College results by members of Congress that day. That's one of the four federal charges that Trump is also facing in his D.C. criminal case. The hearing before Judge Kelly set for 2 p.m. tomorrow. So we always know the prosecutors say, this is what we want, this is the sentence we'd like to see. The judge is the final arbiter, though. Does Judge Kelly have a record of going below what prosecutors usually ask for in these cases? Judge Kelly is the one who actually applied the sentences we just talked about with the fellow Proud Boys co-defendants who were also convicted of seditious conspiracy going well below sometimes half of what prosecutors were asking for. Kelly is a Trump appointee, but he also called January 6th a terrible day.